Hello there, I'm Chase Ross. I'd like to welcome you to the joy of painting. Today we're going to be doing ourselves a nice little winter landscape. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get our paints. Now most folks, they just use regular oil paint. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do a little special today. We got our food colorings over here. I've got four different colors and we can work really well from that spot. Mix them and match them, do whatever we want. Just have a little fun. So, we need to get our base first. There we go. That's a great start. <coughs> oh, a little piece of lettuce from a club sandwich earlier today. Oh. You want to add it? Huh? There you go. My good friend Chris helped me out with getting some more puke so we have a nice firm base to work with. You can see the fish from his breakfast earlier. All kinds of good little chunks in there. So I think, to begin, I'm going to work with a nice blue and we'll go from there. Right in there. A whole bunch. Just go nuts with it if you want to. You can do as much as you like. And I'm just going to take my little brush here and I'm just going to mix it up real good. Oh, look at that. It's a very nice, thick, crisp base to work with. Isn't that just great? So, I'm going to start off using just a flat brush here, one inch wide. Or about three quarters of an inch, it doesn't really matter. If you don't got one like this, you can use whatever you like. So, let's go to the canvas, let's get started. So make sure you get your brush nice and coated in paint. Just, just dazzle it, just get it all wet. And we're gonna start off with our big mountain peak up here. You really want to get it on there too, you want to get it nice and wet. Now this is a non-traditional style of painting that most people don't really do. Myself, I've never been too big a fan of oils. I don't like the smell. And working with that nasty old paint thinner and varnish and stuff, it's not my taste. So that's great, we got the start of our peak over here. Let's just add a little guy on this side too, why not? Boop. Boop. There. Perfect. That looks great. Now we're just going to pull those down just to create some more little peaks. You want to make sure too that you're pulling sort of the same direction that your slopes are going, so it doesn't look awkward. So pull, pull, just like that. Looks like our painting's coming together so far, folks. I'm, just, I'm really enjoying this one. Now most people they like to do their mountains in a nice white. You know, a few grains and stuff, pick up little rocks and highlights. Me, I like to pretend this mountain's in a nice, nice big old sky down south somewhere warm. So we're going to make a blue, ocean reflecting off it. There, doesn't that just look great so far? Well, I think we're done with our blue for now, so we're going to mix up another color. I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a nice green, just to throw things up in the air. Oh, spilled some of the paint there. We're not going to use too much green, actually. So we'll put in one of the smaller size here. Oh, there's that chunk of fish. So now we're going to make sure our brush is nice and clean, so I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to beat the devil out of it. Get rid of most of that blue from before. If you get a little bit mixed in, that's alright. Now I think I'm going to add some greenery down in the foreground here. Maybe some nice big old trees. Funny looking little guy, isn't it? Some and you just mix your paint side to side, just slosh it around in there. It's a good thing about working in vomit, so it's so thin you can just let it flow. Oh, oh, there we go, look at that. That's a nice darker color, isn't it? All 
right? Beautiful. Well, let's put another, let's put a big old guy right here. We're right close now. Let's do that. We're gonna make him look even taller than I'm now. Oh, we both know that's not true. Now I think we need some, like, some brighter, warm colors. So this is down set, like I said. So we're gonna mix in some, uh, some red and yellow. We're just gonna mix those up for a nice old sun. Start off with my yellow. This is a, uh, a honey badger yellow. That's what I call it. So we're gonna squirt some of that in there. This is some nice crimson. All right. Big old squirt of that. Take our brush like before. And just beat the devil out of it. Or, and mix away. Oh, look at that. That red really overpowered the yellow. That's fine, though. So now, I'm going to use the fan brush. This big old guy here. We're just going to start, start making that sky look pretty. Oh, had a little drip down there. That's no problem, though. We don't make mistakes. Just have the accident. Last blood red crimson sky. Just foretells the apocalypse when all man will be destroyed. Isn't that just great? That's quite pretty there. I like the way that looks. Nice big old sky or that nice meat and old mountain. Beautiful. Alright, what are we gonna do next? I think we're gonna add ourselves some tree trunks. So we're gonna use our tiny little thin brush here. And we're just gonna mop up some of that red. A little bit of green too. Never hurt. Big, big old tree trunk. Now we'll make one over here for this guy too. And you can tell you're doing a really good wet on wet painting when you have nice little running streaks like that right there just to fill in. And now I think we're gonna make ourselves some nice reflected water down here. So I'm gonna grab my two inch brush. And then we're just going to do a simple little trick where it's going to whoop, 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 whoop. There. Nice little reflection. And we're just going to go through and just add in some little indentations along this little shoreline here so you can really see it. Beautiful. Just like that. We're going to I'm adding some more stuff on all the mounts here just to get some more ridges going. So I'm going to grab my nice one inch wide brush here and I'm not even going to clean it up. I'm going to split the colors go. We're going to use our big nasty stuff right here. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. That's beautiful. And now we're just going to add ourselves in some sticks on our trees. So for that, you're gonna pull out that knife you carry around and keep those neat old muggers away. And you're just gonna start making little indentations in it. Just like that. See, look, now you can really see where the tree trunks are coming through. And it wouldn't be a final painting unless we sign it. So we're gonna grab our tiny little brush. We're just gonna go down the bottom left here and we're just gonna sign it. Thank you all for inviting me into your homes. I hope to see you again real soon. Take care now.